Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all the cool kids. I am Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. And today, just like the uh, title says, I'm going to be making mini file uh, junk journal booklets. So these are just little booklets that you can include in your junk journal. Um, and uh, making them from one of my, well, from, well, there's two sets of printables here. Actually, these little mini file folders that are in my shop that have like vintage flowers and then like vintage like advertisements. I kind of take, you know, I put the vintage flower and then like a vintage advertisement, a vintage company name, whatever you want to call it. Welcome, welcome to all the cool kids. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Happy 4th of July for uh, those of you in the U.S. of A. Happy Thursday for everybody else. <laughs> So I already cut down my little papers to size, hoping that I have um, enough to work with here. So I'm working with some printables also for my store, as well as just other kind of like just book papers. So I like to divide my uh, little, my, my the things I'm gonna include into my signature kind of by type. It's kind of its own type because it's the same type of paper. So I'm kind of putting it by itself. And these are some just ephemera that's printed out. And then I also have scrap of paper, regular paper. And all this regular paper here. Hopefully that's enough. I am, hi Lori, I'm hopefully gonna be making six of these little uh, junk journals. And this is made of, uh, well, this is printed, I should say, it's not made. This is printed on white cardstock. So it looks pretty cute on the inside. I love these little mini folder files. They're super adorable. They have a bigger version of the uh, flowers on the back. Yes, I did feel the earthquake. I did. I was a little freaked out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was trying to take a nap on the couch. My husband was playing video games on the couch next to me and um i just kind of felt my i have like this old trailer right so i just kind of felt just a slight movement almost like there's like a huge sometimes there's like big trucks that drive by and that'll make the house shake because <clears throat> it's a little and um i thought maybe that was it or maybe it just got like crazy windy all of a sudden maybe i don't know i was just i wasn't sure what was going on i told my husband i'm like do you feel the trailer moving and he's like yeah i do feel it moving we thought maybe it just got like suddenly windy outside i don't know and um we looked outside because we thought maybe it got crazy windy because that's what it felt it just felt like it was windy and uh, we go outside, and there's not even a breeze. Well, there's a slight breeze. Slight breeze. And um, then I look at my, I have these, like, little hanging lamps in my living room, and they're moving. They're just, like, slightly moving. I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> it's an earthquake. I'm like, that is an earthquake. And then um, my neighbor called me, and she's like, did you feel that? I'm like, yeah. And... <laughs> Then I Googled it, and it seemed like everybody was talking about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. But that's it. I didn't feel anything more than that. Did you feel it, Irina? Yeah, we're okay. Nothing <clears throat> nothing crazy happened here at all. I feel like maybe it was a little bit crazier in Cali. Hi, Smoke Signal Creations. I didn't feel it. I hate, yeah, earthquakes are scary, man. Especially when you feel them out here in Vegas because you don't really normally feel them out here. <laughs> it's not normally a thing. I'm trying to see how many pages I can fit. I have not experimented with how many pages I can fit. One. Hi, paper opossum. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Maybe I can put ten. Eight. Um, let's, see. let's put one of these. 
nine. And let's see, one more. I think in here, I'll put this one. I think this could work in here. Ten pages. And they're already kind of cut to size. I might have to cut <clears throat> some of the corners off, but that's okay. It can be a little bit like that. I'm not mad at it. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. At least now I know how many pages I want to include in this little book. Yes. I know you guys get so many, but I know it's big when I feel it. You know what I mean? You know, I didn't know Las Vegas is apparently on a fault line as well. <laughs> I did not know that. Did not know that. Just until recently. I thought I was kind of like safe from all that stuff, but apparently not. Apparently not as much as I thought. Paper. What am I at? I don't even know how many pages I have in here. Two, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I think I'm at six. <laughs> I think I'm at six. No, my cat didn't knock weird at all. I don't even know. He, I haven't even... Uh, Noticed he was just in the room sleeping the last time I checked on him. Um, but he didn't act weird, no. Nine. So one more. And let's go with the book page. This one. That would be fun. No, they are never fun, those freaking earthquakes. This one's a little bit too long. So let me switch it up with this one. Much better. Okay, so now here is number three. Oh, I cut this one on the wrong side. That's funny. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, there's ten. These are going to be so cute little books. <laughs> Our cat, Captain Jack Sparrow, and Grace Boo always activated right before a tornado warning is to shoot here in Missouri. Interesting. My cat was somewhere off sleeping. I didn't hear him at all. And ten, and it looks like I don't have any more scrap of paper <laughs> for the last two. I guess we'll have to deal with that. Kind of that right. Let me just check one, two, three, four, five, and ten. Okay, yeah. And last one before I get them sewed in. These are gonna be so cute. They're kind of fat, 
You're pretty fat, but that's okay. <laughs> what size is the paper? The the little mini files. Um, you print out two per sheet. The papers. Let me open it. Okay, wait. What am I doing wrong? Okay. <laughs> hey, it's so complicated. <laughs> Okay, okay, so this is, can't even see the number below. A little bit, oh, seven and a quarter by four and a half. And when folded like this, they are three and a half by five. Three and a half by five. And the paper. Hi, Celeste. She also asked about the paper. The paper is... It is five by three and three eighths. <laughs> Basically, slightly smaller by, than three and a half. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? Um, I have two sets of the mini folders, and then I also have the bigger folders, but I want to use the little mi the mini ones. I'll leave a link to these down below, so you can check them out in my shop. Sisses. Okay, so that's the signature. Last one here that I gotta do. Okay. Three. These are big, and I just cut them all the way down. <laughs> right? The file, the, the little file folder shape is adorable. It looks cute. Let me see. Some of these are big, though. Mm. I'm not mad at it. I'll just deal with it. <laughs> okay, so I got them all done. A little signatures. Now, I have to put a... I need um paper clips. I need my giant paper clips. And I have like my little this is what I use to help me um make my junk journals kind of keep the spine in. Normally, I cut this down to size, but it seems like it's already the right size for the height, so yay for that. Got my little sewing machine. I'm going to sew them in with my sewing machine. Show you what I got going on here on my table. Hi, Laura. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Happy 4th of July earthquake day. <laughs> everybody was freaking out. Everybody, you know, everybody's off today, so everybody felt it. My dad said he didn't feel it at his house, though. She doesn't live too far away from me, but he lives in a house. I live in a little trailer, so I definitely felt it. <laughs> definitely felt the shake. So I kind of press up against this paper here to make sure that they're all in, in the, up against the spine. Hi, Liz. Welcome, girl. Welcome. I had to do a little something, something today. Let's 
I still have all their mini, mini, even smaller journals that I need to make, which is adorable. Okay. So then I'll drop it in like that. I'll kind of smash them together if it seems silly it is. Just trying to make sure it's nice, tight, and right. And you kind of drop them. And you get you a paper clip. A totally normal sized paper clip. <laughs> and uh, I need a pencil. Yes. I guess it's already kind of lined in the middle. Okay, I didn't know that. <clears throat> so let's do it. I am just going to sew down the center of the spine with the straight stitch uh, set on the longest length. And this is how I pretty much do all of my junk journals with my sewing machines. This is. And I have a colorful thread in there. It's going to look pretty cute, I think. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. And I forgot to backstitch initially. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I forgot. Okay, so here it is. The first of six little booklets. <clears throat> I kind of went off center, but hey, that's okay. I'll live. It has it has a pretty colorful uh, bobbin. It has a magenta, <laughs> magenta thread and a purple bobbin. And these are it's just going to be a little insert that I'll put into my junk journals. You can either attach it or you can put it into a pocket somewhere. It's cute. It's real cute. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. And the other one should fit in a little bit more. I was kind of a little bit more dil diligent. Right here, I was like, whatever. <laughs> I was like, whatever. So let's do it all over again. This center doesn't have this there. <clears throat> it does kind of look a little bit like a passport, huh? A little junk journal pass <laughs> passport. Okay, so now that I have a little line in there, you got my little cereal box here to help me. I love Honey Bunches of Oats. Oh my god, that's like my favorite cereal in the world. It's so good. <laughs> Honey Bunches of Oats. See, these are the ones that are a little bit too big, but... <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna trip dog, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna stay not bothered. Not bothered. I'm telling you, I watch too many drag queens on TV and I start talking like them. Sorry. <laughs> it just sticks. <laughs> it's like when I go to Mexico and I start, I come back and I speak with an accent. Because <laughs> I talk to my cousins. It's the same thing. <laughs> okay. So I got to make sure it's all going the right, right way. our paper clip and let's sew it and my sewing machine is the brother project runway limited edition ce1125 prw awesome machine get the warranty <laughs> okay here we go And I'm just using a straight stitch on the longest length possible. It's kind of hard to see where you're supposed to sew, so that's why I draw. That's why I draw that little line. I I forget. I, again, I forgot to backstitch in the beginning, but whatever. <laughs> things the things. Okay. So this is adorbs. It's just 
these just little booklets that you can put into, like I said, pocket would be really cute in your junk journal. It has 10 pages in here, so it's pretty, pretty, I mean, I put 15 pages per signature, so it's almost the whole signature right here. But I think it'll look adorable in pockets. Okay, so here's another one that we're doing. Just get the camera down here. Get in on all this action. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line down the center. I'm just going to get my signature in here. I think most of the time of this project is consumed in cutting up the pages. Oh, and I also cut these file folders by hand, you guys. Hi, Monique. I cut these out by hand, so I was too lazy to move everything in front of, in front of my scan and cut, so I did cut them by hand. <laughs> that took a minute, and uh, cutting up the pages took a minute, so right now it seems like it's going by fast to me, but I know I just spent, I don't know, like 35 minutes cutting up the paper. <laughs> I spared you guys the boring time. Okay, here's the final page. Oh, no, here's the final page. <laughs> now we're at the final page. Okay. This one fits in here. Yeah, this fits a lot better than that other one did, that's for sure. Put that on it. Okay. And let's get this sewed in. Hi, Norma. Welcome, welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need a backstitch. <laughs> Don't forget to backstitch, you guys. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Go straight through. And like I said, normally 15 pages is what I do in a signature. So this is 10. They're pretty much all paper. There's no cardstock in um, these pages in here, so it's all paper. The cover is made from cardstock, but the pages are all paper within. See, that one fits a lot better than these ones did. I kind of didn't. I stopped caring. <laughs> now, I don't know why my pages got bigger towards the end, but they did. Well, I'm glad you're here, Norma. It is nice to see you. It's nice to say hello to you. So this looks really cute. It's a really nice mix of papers. Some coffee dyed. Some not so coffee dyed. But papers. Printed stuff. That kind of messed up in my printer. But it looks magical. <laughs> so this is cute. How is Boo? Boo is doing awesome. He's off sleeping somewhere. He starts coming alive after 10 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Otherwise, he's asleep most of the day. He goes to, like, the hottest room in the house, and he makes it his little room for the day. This looks so cute right here. But thank you for asking also about that little boy. Happy 4th of July, Llewellyn. Happy 4th of July. The only reason why I like 4th of July is because 5th of July is my birthday. <laughs> so I'm like, yay. 4th of July comes and then faster 4th of July comes and it's my birthday. <laughs> okay, so this is going to look cute right here. I don't think I'm going to bother with that thing. We'll see how it goes when I don't bother with it now. Let's see. I don't know. I don't feel safe. <laughs> okay. Nope. I'm going to do it. I feel like I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to do it. Isn't he normal? I love that little boy. I'm telling you. Mm. If I could hire a full-time camera crew and, like, just do, like, live videos of him, I would. <laughs> I think he could be the star. <laughs> the star of it all. Man, I didn't feel safe not doing this part. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. I guess I got used to it. I feel like I'm not going to get it correctly if I don't do it that way. <laughs> you could totally do a 
a pamphlet stitch in these. I just always sew my I just always sew my signatures in with my sewing machine. It just find it a lot more easier for me. I feel like it's a lot less frustrating. It wasn't in the beginning, but now that it is my preferred method, I'm kind of used to it. So I don't find it so difficult anymore. You would watch Norma? All right, I'm going to start the channel. sew this in. I gotta remember to um, back stitch. Let me back stitch. And one more. And here we go. And here, back stitch and back stitch. And we're done. Hi, Lizzie. Let's cut off some of this thread here and here. And there we go. We have our little booklet. I love the little fun mix of papers. I need a coffee dye more paper. <laughs> I'm almost out of it. So this all looks cute. So that's number four. So this is a pretty fast project. Once you cut down all the paper <laughs> and cut out these little file folders pretty quick project. Let me get two more done here. How many pages am I sewing? 10 pages and then the little cover, but they're all, they're all 10 pages um, of paper. So there's no cardstock on here, just all paper. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And you can find these little file folders in my shop. I'll leave a link after the show is done and you can come back. Or you can just go to tsunamirose.net. Your sewing machine throws a fit if you use more than eight. What? Uh, my Mine throws a fit if I try to do more than uh, 20. <laughs> more than 20 and then it's not happy now. So I normally do a max of 15 per signature. But since this is a little mini file folder, I thought I'd do 10. So I'm doing 10 pages in here. And it goes through it like butter, no problem. Yeah, this sewing machine is pretty good for what I got. I feel when I don't break it. And when I do, I just go back and they give me another one with the warranty. So I said get the warranty. <laughs> Definitely get the warranty. Okay, so here we go. it up against here get my regular size paper clip in my baby hand <laughs> okay okay enough of that enough of the, the baby fingers teeth <laughs> so I'm putting this little line down the middle so I know where I'm supposed to sew and let's get under here, under this little, let's get to the sewing machines. One, two, and back stitch. One, two. Okay, here we go. And then back stitch one, back stitch two. Awesome. Okay, okay. That's the one I've gotten the most, almost close on the spine. <laughs> Adorable, yes, so cute. Just a nice little mix of papers. In this little booklet, so that makes five booklets already. Let's keep it going. We got one more to do. I didn't expect this to be such a quick video, but I mean, here we are. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I just want to make sure it was enough. It didn't seem like enough pages for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. So we have the little inside of our cereal box. And let's 
going to put a line down the center of the middle page, just like that. Get this together over here. My hands are kind of, I have been kind of hurting the past couple two days, so I haven't been wanting to do too much. So, I mean, I'm, I still wanted to do something live. <laughs> So I'm glad this turned out to be a quick little project I could show you guys. I feel so lazy if I don't go live. <laughs> I have to go live. So, and I still want to feel productive. And I like, I do enjoy crafting one hour a day. I could craft more, but like I said, my hands. And then, I don't know, it seems like too much if I craft more than that. We'll see, we'll see. Just trying to get my hands back so I can get back to my quilting, to be honest with you. <laughs> I want to finish up that quilt material I've been wanting to make. Okay. My paper clips. And let's get on the sewing machine here. Stitch. One, two, and then one second. So I thought these little junk journals, here's a, a junk journal that I've already finished and um, decorated and everything. There might not be any pockets left in there, but let's see. I thought these would be adorable to put in like a big pocket. It won't fit in this one, kind of, but not really. I know I have pockets. Where are the pockets, people? <laughs> okay, here's a pocket. So I figured they would look really cute, like a nice uh, little file folder in a pocket. Or you could also just, you know, attach it with a paper clip and they would look adorable. I haven't been live in forever. You're doing great with your lives. Thank you. So... That was our little project for today. I know it was a quick project, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow, I believe. I don't think I'm doing anything. I'll be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be here doing another little craft junk journal related uh, project. Uh, they would fit in the cover of pockets. Yes, that's true. They would fit in cover pockets if I had included them <laughs> in my junk journals. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with me on 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come hang out with me. Um, down below, there will be a link to where you can get these little file folders. Also, a link to my Junk Journal Cool Kids Facebook group that you guys can join and kind of um, show off what you're making and everything like that. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, I'm sorry, girl. This was a really quick live. I didn't expect it to be this quick. So you guys have a good day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this last little half hour for my little life. Bye, you guys. Have a good day. Happy 4th of July. Have fun, you guys. Bye.